Isn't this how an untouched woman is made? Her hymen, her virginal membrane intact. Her cherry unpicked. Wow, what an innocent piece of skin. People say this is the sign of a virgin. But then, along comes a man, armed with his knife. The white innocence, the virginal membrane is destroyed, gone forever, a bloody loss. Wake up, because this is total nonsense. In real life, you never lose your hymen. This is Laia Valls Perez. She is a gynecologist. It doesn't even have to be broken, because it's not a closed membrane that covers the vagina. Think about it. How could girls even bleed once a month if this was totally closed? The hymen lies somewhere around here, at the entrance to the vagina. The hymen is more like a ring of a very, very elastic skin. If you uh, have vaginal uh, penetrative sex or you masturbate, then it's going to be stretched. And if it's not stretched for a while, then it's going to go back to the original shape. It might look like a band of tissue across the center, ring-shaped like a sieve or like a crescent, to name just a few possibilities. There are few girls, though, that do have a hymen that's closed. It's not so typical, or it doesn't happen so often. A closed hymen can make problems when girls menstruate, because then the blood can't go out from the vagina. But that's not a big problem. You just should be seeing a doctor who's gonna open it a little bit, and then everything's gonna be fine. What's important here? It's perfectly natural and normal that your hymen has holes. And your hymen is always there. You don't lose it. It just stretches, but it stays where it is. So it's total nonsense when people talk about breaking the hymen or popping the cherry. That's totally absurd. Forget about that. That's just a big lie. No one can tell from your hymen if you're a virgin or not. That's just not possible because it can also be stretched with other things, like, for example, with sport. But still, there are these very expensive surgical options to reconstruct the hymen. They say they'd glue or sew your membrane back together. These surgeries are nonsense. There is not something like the one shape of the hymen. So if nothing has to be broken, why should we glue something? Some girls also put capsules of artificial blood into their vagina to simulate bleeding. You don't know what's in these red liquids. So the vagina is a very delicate and complex system. I don't think it's a good idea to stuff it with uh, things which could be toxic. So why do some girls and women report bleeding after their first time having vaginal sex? According to studies, it's still about 50%. In fact, the hymen doesn't have many blood vessels. It's rather lacerations in the vaginal wall that bleed. The hymen can bleed if you don't pay attention. If you're too quick or too rough or just don't use enough lubrication. But actually, it doesn't have to. The problem is that if everybody's telling you that it's gonna bleed and hurt, you're not even gonna try to be cautious. So just relax, be cautious, be patient, and enjoy it. And don't let guys think they need to play the knight with a sword, because there is nothing to cut or break. 